Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel Lights in Theory Studio Max Chapter 5. In this chapter, we're going to discuss about another light parameters, which is very common to almost all of the lights in 3S Max, that is advanced effects. Now, first, <clears throat> just create a scene where I put a simple plane, a teapot, and uh, Omni Light. Select the Omni Light, go to the Modify panel, and I'll just uh, Inside the intensity color and attenuation, you'll find uh, advanced effect. If you're using any spotlights, you can have that parameter just under the spotlight parameters, which I've already discussed about on the last chapter. Okay, so first option of the uh, advanced effect is affect surfaces, which have two options that is called contrast and soften diffuse edges. Now, what is that? I'm just so put these two into zero and I just hit render. Here you can see this is a default render of uh, the uh, with Omni Light and I'll just go to the rendering and put RAM, RAM player and call this last render into the RAM player. Switch off the render and now what the contrast does actually do? I'll just put the contrast to a very high level, the maximum that is 100, and I'll do another render, and you can clearly see that the object has been almost flattened out because it's already losing uh, the diffuseness, and the it's creating a very high contrast between the light and the shadow. I'll just call this uh, image into the channel B of the uh, RAM player, and now you can see the difference between uh, my low contrast level and the high contrast level values. So this is the contrast is all about. So I can control this uh, contrast in different level, and I can increase the you know the intensity of the light which is absorbing by the surfaces. So that is a contrast, and I just go to the a bit closer because I will be needed this. After that, I will go to the soften diffuse edges option. This is very uh, interesting one because I just put it in zero, and again I just uh, render it out. This is my default render, and I just call this thing into my RAM player. And after that, I'll just make the soften diffuse edges value to the highest one. And again, I'll just render it, and I'll call that into the channel B of my RAM player. Now, see this: the channel A one, this one is have the value of zero of soften diffuse edges, and this one is actually getting higher so you can see clearly that my edges age where the light is actually traveling through the surface has been diffused for that reason you can see that even my uh, the amount of light also have got affected for this uh, using of this uh, option in uh, advanced effect and it, it actually affects in the entire uh, scene so my entire scene got a bit darker so that you have to look out whether your scene is getting darker or not and how much you are going to use that uh, soften dif diffuse edges in your scene so that is a soften diffuse edges this is uh, this is very important for for making the surface look uh, even better in details okay now these three options are very uh, simple one you just uh, want to use the diffuse to be affected by the light or not whether the object is visible or not you can see the object will not be visible because the diffuseness I mean the color of the objects is not going to affect by the light and another option is specular uh, which means which means if your specular is also not going to affect and if you switch on the diffuse only you can see only the diffuse part is actually got affected. There is no specular 
for that I have to put a bit real into it just to make it a bit higher specular fine now if I hit render you can see the specular is clearly visible but if I switch off this specular there is no specular so that's how we can control the specular or whether we are going to use this objects uh, or this light to be hit uh, I mean calculate the specularity of the of any object or not and this one is the ambient only to make create any kind of matte object or matte surface out of the of our compositing or any other purposes so that's how we can control it control by ambient the projector map uh, I have to use uh, different light I kind of cannot use the uh, Omni for the projector map uh, I just have to create the target spot let's say let's put it and within this target map go to the advanced effect and use some maps like marble I can use marble or any, any kind of bitmap image if I want to I can use a bitmap image over here so if I hit render you can see clearly the light is actually producing the texture with the object on the object so that's how we can uh, put uh, we can create a very nice uh, uh, movie theater lights through these options and this is very effective if I uh, change to the rectangular size and maybe just squeeze it down hit render and you can see it's a square shape Oops, just a minute uh, square shape so I can create some uh, effect like uh, movie hall uh, something similar to any kind of projector a projector is projection any image on a on a on a screen so that can be do uh, in this uh, through this uh, projection map option so this is the advanced effect of the uh, max uh, basic lights so hope you enjoy thank you